In our previous video, we started a basic Kotlin project and we got this basic look and feel. Now, I want to reuse some of the logic that we created in a separate Java-based program, including this look and feel that we have here with this kind of layout and these user interface elements and some string resolution that we've already put together. Now, the layout is based in XML. The images are images, and the strings are in strings.xml, so none of this is Kotlin specific. We can borrow it from a previous project that we work on. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, in my Kotlin project, I'm going to take a look and see that I have a layout called activity underscore GPS a plant and content underscore GPS a plant. Just remember those names for a moment because we're going to need to come back to them. But for the moment, I'm going to just delete them. Uh, I'm going to undo safe delete because it's going to tell me that I have references from these files into GPS a plant and it normally would not let me delete those. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and do a hard delete on them because the layouts that I'm going to copy into here from a different project have the same names. So everything will be okay. So activity GPS a plant and content GPS a plant. Go ahead and delete. So I said you might get a few build errors. Now from there, let's go to the project that we have been working with so far uh, in a previous video series, and that is our Java-based project. If I go to the Java-based project that we put together in some older videos, and I go to Layout, I'll take a look at, guess what, Activity GPS a Plant, and also Content GPS a Plant. I'm going to highlight those two and hold Control c to copy them. Minimize this other Android Studio project, go back to our Kotlin project, right-click and choose Paste, and go ahead and say yes. And we'll notice that both Activity GPS a Plant and Content GPS a Plant get pasted here under Layout. Now, why to? Well, remember that Content GPS a Plant is where we put most of the user interface elements that our user is going to interact with in our application. Activity GPS a Plant is for things that uh, kind of lay on top of those elements. So this is using Material Design where we have the concept of a couple of different layers. A little tricky conversation here, but if you take a look, you see this is our content page and you see that all of our layouts, all of our views and our widgets are relative to each other, except this floating action button is kind of out here in space, sitting on top of the image view. Well, that's because the floating action button is not a member of the content, but rather a member of the activity GPS a plant, which sits on top of the content and it has its own layout. So you see, if you let me zoom up a little bit here, now we're on the activity. And if you kind of see the uh, wireframe, make some more room here, if you see this wireframe here, you see that really it has a space for the floating action button, it has a space for our activity bar at the top, but it's not worried about allocating each of these other individual buttons here. So our layouts are here. Uh, that's why we need both the activity and also the content GPS of plan. One thing you'll notice, though, is that the buttons are a little bit funny because we don't have images on the buttons. Also, the strings are a little bit funny because it has some funny kind of notation here, at string, plant name, location, so on and so forth. The reason for that is those are the, let's start with the strings first. The strings are referencing entries in strings.xml. Remember, we have a new project here, so we don't yet have the strings XML that we dealt with in our old project. So let me borrow those, let me bring those over. I'll simply double shift and say strings XML. And remember, this is the list of strings that we came up with in our previous project. I right click and I choose copy. And I'm not gonna grab the first two app name and action settings because you notice that this already has those. And then we paste and then we save and we go back to content GPS a plan. Now you see where it had some placeholders before, now it actually has the name, latitude, longitude, GPS age, plant name, location, description, so on and so forth, because we've populated the strings XML. So that will work for our strings. We also want to think about the colors, because here we're dealing with the default colors that are given to us when we start an application. Let's go back to uh, the Plant Places mobile we did a while back, and let's take a look for those colors. And you might remember we had this kind of uh, yellow and brown and green color that we got from a color wheel. So we can simply share that into our, we'll do a little copy paste magic here, and we'll put that into our, um, our new Kotlin application. Once again, look at content GPS a plant, and we see that this is coming along. 
Now our buttons still are not correct because we don't have the images for those buttons. In other words, you might remember from the original plant places that we did, if I take a look at content GPS a plant and we go to design view, we're going to see some icons that we made in here. So here's a zoom up just a bit here. Here's a save and open a camera and an upload and also a pause here. Those are images that we made within our uh, project, our original uh, Java based project. We have not yet made those in the Kotlin project that we're dealing with here. Now copying these is a little bit tricky. The images live under drawable, but we can't copy them from this Android view. It gets a little tricky that way. We have to go over and go to project files and then extend on app, app again, and then source. And from source, we go to main, from main to res. And this is where we want to paste our images. Now let's go over to our, by the way, you're looking at the Kotlin project again. I'm going to go back to the Java based project, which has those images. So just a moment. Okay. Whoop. There we go. Uh, project files. And on this one, I'm going to select drawable HDPI, drawable MDPI, XHDPI, and XXHDPI. I'm going to hold control and press C. Now, why these four? Because the same images exist in all four directories, but at different scale. So different height and width to be appropriate for these different resolutions. So I copy these top level folders again from the project files tab. And then I'm going to go back to my Kotlin project, make sure I'm in project files, make sure I'm under res, right click, and I'm going to choose paste. And okay, we'll give this just a few moments as it pastes in uh, those, those different icons. Give us a confirmation that we want to add these to get. Okay. And now if we take a look under drawable HDPI and MDPI and so on and so forth, we see the images appear here. But more importantly, we see the images now appear on our layout. With that, we can navigate back to our normal project view. And, uh, well, let's see, we'll go to, instead of project, we'll go to Android view. And now under drawable, you see that it kind of has rearranged things and it has made subfolders for us for each of the images that we have on our screen. So uh, just a couple more things I need to take care of. First of all, I'm going to go to our content and our activity layout, and I'm going to take a look at the text under the covers because there's one little tweak that I need to make. In the content GPS of plant, it wants to know what class it's associated with. And you see, I have a subtle change here. The class name is still GPS of plant, but in this project, I've changed the package name just slightly. It used to be edu.uc.jonesbr.plantplaces in our previous project. Now it's Plant Places Kotlin. So we want to make that Plant Places Kotlin, and that should take care of that red line. It goes away. It looked pretty good. One other thing, I'm going to go to GPS a plant, and I'm just going to confirm that I see here set content view r.layout.activity.gps a plant. This is looking at the activity. In other words, the controller that's going to handle our button clicks and things like this. And because I did a bit of copy paste magic, I just want to be sure that our activity knows the layout that it should use is this activity GPS of plant. And sure enough, it does know that because there's no red line. So we look pretty good. Let's save and redeploy the app one more time. And let's confirm that our new look and feel is present in our application. So I'll bring up the emulator. Uh, and what you're looking at here is the uh, original Java-based program. So let me take us back to our Kotlin program. Here we go. We'll give it a moment to refresh. And if all goes well, when it reappears, we should see the familiar GPS plant look and feel that we saw before. Voila, take a look. Plant places Kotlin. So you know that indeed this is the new Kotlin application that we're making. You see that all of our text has been resolved from strings XML. All of our images are here. Now the buttons don't do anything yet because we have not wired them up. And you'll notice that uh, we don't have our autocomplete working just yet, but we do have a layout. The layout's pure XML. We have the images and we have the string and we have the strings. So the images are images and these strings are coming from strings XML. So nothing Kotlin specific at the moment, but we do have this, we do have all of this non Kotlin stuff now plugged into our application so that we can start writing our Kotlin activity against this layout.
So we will pick up with this in the next series of videos. We're going to use the Kotlin Android extensions in our next video to easily access all of these widgets and views that you see on this screen in our activity. We will also uh, take a look at adding a button click handler to the save button, and we're going to make some DTOs and the like. So I look forward to seeing you in that video. Thank you.